Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Torah teacher Ariel, where every week or so we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture together as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. Let's talk today about the book of Esther and God's invisible hand. The events surrounding the Purim story have long since been attributed to divine intervention, and rightfully so. For even though the name of God is not mentioned anywhere within the book, surely it is his mighty hand which delivers the Jews from the evil plot of Haman. Consider these four, quote, coincidences, end quote. Number one, if Amalek hadn't aligned themselves against God's chosen people, the bitter ongoing war with them would not have produced a people who would forever be identified as the enemies of the Jews. Read Exodus 17, 8 through 15. Number two, if King Shaul had destroyed all of the Amalekites whom the sages teach was completely assembled together that day, as Hashem had ordered him to, read 1 Samuel chapter 15, then there would not have even been born a Haman, descendant of that way King Agag. See chapter 3 verse 1 where we learn that Haman is a descendant of Agag. Number three, if Esther had not been in the right place at the right time, the demise of the Jews might have been certain. Read Mordechai's statement in Esther 4 verses 12 through 14. And number four, if Mordechai had not been in the right place at the right time, the Jews' demise might have been certain. Read Esther 2, 21 through 23, as well as chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. Coincidences? I don't think so. So we see that even though God is not specifically mentioned, surely he was with his people. For the God we serve does not leave circumstances to chance. He is always leading, guiding, instructing, and protecting those who are his own. Even in the midst of disobedience, remember that Yehuda was exiled for her gross idolatry, reference the entire book of Jeremiah. But Haman the Jew hater could have learned a thing or two from reading the Torah of Moshe. If he had read, he would have learned that to align himself against God's chosen people is to align himself against God. Indeed, every single wicked nation that has plotted to destroy the Jews has met with the wrath of Hashem and has consequently all but been wiped from the face of the earth. 